Well, hello there, it's Green and welcome to another speed build. So, this week, as you can see, the build is really small. And that's because the size of the lot is really small. And to be completely honest with you, I didn't even know these lots existed in The Sims. This is a 15 by 10 lot. I had no idea. Um, originally, I wanted to finish the community lot, a community lot that I've been working for two weeks now, something like that. Uh, but I didn't really feel inspired, so I found this lot, or I guess this illustration on my Pinterest board, and I'm like, oh, this looks so cute, I really want to do it, like it's really creative. And even though I said that I'm not doing magical builds again, I did one quite a while ago. It was a couple months ago and it was like a floating island. It was really fun, but it's definitely not my style. I saw that and I was like, I really want to do it. And I've never been to Sylvana Glade. Well, maybe one or two times out of all the years that I've been playing Sims 4. Um, so I didn't really knew that this lot is editable. I found out because I keep seeing like images from people like proposing uh, sims, I guess. <laughs> people making their sims propose in this particular location. So I was like, I don't know, have I seen a build here? I'm not completely sure. But I was like, maybe this fits perfectly here because like it's very fairy tale, you know. It isn't as witty or as magical, it's more of a fairy tale. So I was like, yes, let's go here. And I found out that this lot is 15 by 10 and I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like the circle where um, the round room, I guess, it's like the entire lot. It takes up the entire <laughs> lot. And I'm like, God damn it. So as you can imagine, because I did the entire um, exterior and landscaping as pictures and because the size of the lot is so tiny I didn't have anything else to do and since everyone <laughs> seems to make their sims come here to propose or like uh, elope I felt like it would be a good idea to create this as like a chapel if you will like you know a tiny church hidden somewhere that you can come and it's like all fairy tale and cute and I really liked it, I really like how this turned out I am so happy with the exterior, I really like the interior I tried to copy it kinda like from a fairy tale wedding picture that I saw on Google images that looked really cute, like it had hanging lights and hanging plants but I couldn't really replicate that, so I tried to make it as cute and mystical and <laughs> not my style as possible, because let me tell you, all this pink stuff, definitely not my style. But I think somehow it works, especially those, um, I think they're called modes from Realm of Magic, they really add like this magical and fairy tale thing, and like... <laughs> I find it so stupid that it's on top of a cup. I don't know, I love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. I really hope you like it too. It's a very small bead. Um, I will sell, share it in the gallery. It shares as a residential. I just named it <laughs> Sylvana Glade, so it's easier to find. But yeah, I'm just ah, so happy with it. I really hope you guys like it too because I didn't think that I would make any other magical beads, but somehow, you know what, this really worked. Um, and yeah, this is it, I guess. If you want to download it, it's in the gallery. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll have an amazing day and take care. Bye. Thank you.